Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is the second smallest planet in our solar system, coming after Mercury. Its name originates from the Roman god associated with war. Due to the abundance of iron oxide on its surface, Mars is often called the red planet because of its reddish hue. Similar to both the Moon's impact craters and Earth's volcanoes, valleys, deserts, and polar ice caps, Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere. Its rotational period and seasonal cycles resemble those of Earth, with the tilt being responsible for the changing seasons. Mars boasts notable features such as Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and second-largest mountain in our solar system, as well as Valles Marineris, one of the largest canyons in the solar system. Before the successful flyby of Mars by Mariner 4 in 1965, there was much speculation about the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface. This speculation was based on observed periodic variations in light and dark patches, particularly at the polar latitudes, which appeared reminiscent of seas and continents. Unmanned missions have gathered geological evidence suggesting that Mars once had significant water coverage on its surface during earlier stages of its existence. Most of the world's ecosystems have been shaped over thousands of years as different plants and animals adapt to their surroundings and each other. They reach a stable balance where everything is interconnected. This balance is maintained through various factors that limit the size and distribution of species, such as the environment, availability of food, and the presence of predators. For instance, Plants need sunlight and nutrients from the soil to grow. The number of edible plants affects the population of plant-eating animals, which in turn affects the predators that rely on them for food. A healthy number of predators prevents the plant-eating animals from becoming too abundant and consuming all the plants. However, even small changes in one of these factors can disrupt the balance. One major change that can upset ecosystems is the introduction of non-native species. When a species from a different habitat is brought into a new environment, it may face different limiting factors, predators, food sources, and climates. If the new environment doesn't have effective limiting factors for the introduced species, it can multiply rapidly, outcompete native organisms for resources, and disrupt the entire ecosystem. Sometimes, species are introduced into new environments through natural means like storms, ocean currents, or changes in climate. However, the majority of invasive species are introduced by humans.
This is the big benefit of a universal philosophy. It says it applies to everybody. Well, looks that doesn't, you know, 205 or 206 countries in the world. And you've got something that applies. To everybody. That's a bit strange, isn't it? No, says liberal theory. There are same value structures that apply to all of us. You couldn't have the United Nations without it. It couldn't tell you that the universal declaration of human rights without this idea of values that apply to all of us just because we are humans. Now, the idea is to test that as well. Why is sport universal? Why does everybody play football? It's because the values are specified at a very thin level at the top. There are these rules and we all have to abide by just these rules. But there are lots of things about football that aren't rules specified. So, Brazilian football is different from Italian football, from British football, from German football, from Spanish football. It's culturally specific but acknowledges that there are these universal general rules to apply to everybody. Children learning language is a big topic. Let's break it down step by step. When does a child start being a child? Many people believe that language learning begins around 12 months, when kids say their first word. However, we shouldn't overlook the importance of the first year of life. Even before you are born, there are a few months when you can already hear and understand the language spoken around you. So language learning actually starts earlier than most people realize. And it continues for a longer time too. When does it stop? Well, in a way, we are all like children when it comes to learning. There isn't a clear endpoint for learning new sounds, although there are endpoints for learning grammar and vocabulary. We keep learning new words throughout our lives, with millions of words in the English language alone. Most of us have a vocabulary of around 50, 60, or 70,000 words, but there is always something new to learn. So remember, the beginning and end of language learning in childhood are farther apart than some people think. This means there is more to study and learn than many people realize.
Before the space age began in 1956, there were ideas about what Venus, the planet, might look like on its surface. These ideas were a mix of science fiction and scientific speculation. However, it wasn't until 1967 that these ideas were disproven when detailed measurements were taken by the Mariner 4 and Mariner 5 spacecraft. These measurements revealed that Venus is extremely hot, with clouds made of sulfuric acid. This means that Venus doesn't have a pleasant water cycle like Earth does. Recent findings from the Venus Express mission have shown that while there are some Earth-like features on Venus, overall it is quite different from our planet.